Hello. We have returned to pretty much the exact same point that we left off at the tower when it's raining. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go find the dragon's tears. You found one of the mysterious dragon's tears within the geoglyph and received a vision about Princess Zelda by investigating it. Impa thinks that the mystery of the geoglyphs might connect to something that's inside the Forgotten Temple. It's located somewhere along the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. So, we're going to be following... Hold on, can we get closer? Over here. Um, we're going to be going to the point that's right here. Best I can do is go to the shrine. Wait, 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 wait. What does it mean when they got a chest next to them? Next to the name? Because I feel like that would mean that there's still treasure inside. Except, let's be honest, a lot of things that are inside the treasure chests, kind of basic. Okay, so that's one tier of the dragon that we already got. So let's teleport here and then keep going up. Ooh, what we could also do is we could go to this shrine and then drop down in here. So many options. Why is this stamped? Oh, this is where I was trying to get to the Rito village before. I was estimating with it, but I wasn't far off. Well, actually, it's going to be easy to... Actually, no, because I didn't have a tower to tell where it was. So, yeah. Estimating there was a bit tricky, but I was able to do it. All right, so we want to go over to here, and the closest place that we can get is this tower. I want to go to this tower and then get to Gladden. So yeah, we'll at least get this spot, and then we'll... We might start heading towards another location where we would get a sage. All right, before we do this, I do want to break out the Haomi. Launch me, please. Is that the spot right there? It's not the spot, but it's a spot. I don't think that really worked the way that I wanted it to. You know what? You can go back. So yeah, let's go get this geoglyph. It's not the one that Impo was telling us about. But it is one. I guess after we get this one, then we'll head that way and try to get to the one that we're supposed to be going to. This is a long way down. We can go to them out of order, right? We don't have to have a certain order to do in this. I wouldn't think we would. But you never know. Well, we gotta at least get over the land right here. Hey, come in. I don't have warm clothes on. All right, let's go this one and then this one. And now we are good to be in the cold. Let's see. Do we need to go to this point that's like up in the middle of the castle? It does look like it's the most pronounced part with the tier design. Yep. Exactly the spot. Well, we're getting through these quickly. I hope Impa won't be mad that I did this without her, without her. Hopefully she isn't going to be at every single one because then I would have to go in a certain order. I don't want to do that. 
Let's look at a memory. As I thought, this is not the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh? I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Light and time? I sense that we share a blood connection. You can just sense that type of thing? Uh, I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> she wants you to say something, dude. Or to be kinder about it all? Now, Zelda, dear. You don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... Is that why the Juglif rat is a castle? We'll tell everyone that you're a distant relative of ours. How's that gonna work? <laughs> it is true, after all. It is, but how is that gonna work? We'll get you fresh clothes, too. What, these clothes ain't fresh to you? I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. It is true. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. Who is Minoru? And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. Is Minoru your sister? Adds to the memory log. So this is the. F oh no no no! Wait. Okay, I saw the icon and I thought that it was telling us like the last thing that we've seen. Apparently not though. I guess this was the second. Viewers, we'll see. I guess they're probably going to show us them in order, right? How come we still haven't seen this one? Well, no matter what, let's get going. Let's get to the next spot, the spot we were actually supposed to go to. Come on. What's the moon looking like? It's just those areas looking mighty red right now. So I think there might be a problem. Ooh! I have a theory about what might be at the top of this little mountain hill thing. Just a little theory. Some village ruins. You know there's gonna be something around here. Yep. Chess, it's not really what it meant, but okay. Kite shield. Ruta warriors cherish the shield. Its unique shape is designed for mid-battle flight. In mind to facilitate aerial combat. And look, this looks like another shield.
You tried. I don't mind if that arm breaks. Lazelle, Lazelle shield. A common shield found amongst the Laz, Lazafos. It's made of metal, but it's sloppy craftsmanship offers poor durability. Wait, he has a, he dropped a boomerang. Uh, the Zalfos Talon, this Talon once grew to the, from the elbow of them. Its aerodynamic shape increases attack power when attached to arrows. Stews, yeah, we know. An ice breath one. The freezing power embedded in this horn's uh, crystal tip can be used to your advantage if you know how. Or you can cook it. All right, so we can drop this rusty shield that we just picked up and pick up this way better shield. And we got a boomerang. All right, anything else that we got to keep in mind here? I have a theory about who's up here. Or what you learn up here. And I want to know. I want to know exactly what I think they learned. Yeah, you can't run after the bugs. You gotta creep up on them. I wish there was a distance told of how far it is to your objective. That'd be nice. But then again, it kind of makes you wander around because you don't know how close you are unless you keep checking the map to which she wants to keep checking the map. Come on, we're almost there. Okay, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. But I'll talk to him. He's stuck. It's Huck. Oh. You there. Are you here because you noticed my signal fire? Yeah. It's about time someone did. See, I got spotted by some monsters. Uh. They want to snatch the supplies I collected from Snowfield Stable. Those pests. Normally I've dealt with them. No problem. Huh. But against the swarm, there wasn't much I could do but set up signal fire and wait for help to arrive. Sadly, unless you have a pair of wings I'm not seeing, I doubt you can reach the monsters up there. I'll just have to hang tight and wait for my friends to notice I'm gone. Why can't your fire give me lifts, dude? Dragon! Yeah, all I really need is just some lift. Hmm. What's well, a good way that I could do this? Hold on. I could hit them. I just really gotta leave my shots. I think. Come on, I... I already know what your problem is. Mm. Alright, I need a way to get some boost here. Let me go ahead and... Hold. Hold. That should be good. This doesn't give me any lift. What is something like? Give me some lift here. Um. Let me try this again. No, I'm not trying to talk to you. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to use the ability. Stop talking to me. Gosh, dang.
I hate how he can only do in a horizontal direction. I need up. I can't help this dude because he won't propel me upwards. Wait, isn't there something that you could throw here that really boosts a fire? It's gotta be something, right? Come on. Stop. No, not the not the camera. Stop it. Stupid balloon, come here. That works. What are you freaking out about, dude? All right, let's go ahead and drop you here. There's not a good way for me to get up here, is there? Oh my gosh, why is it so difficult? Why do I not have a board laying around or something and the red moon is here? I'm gonna skip over the animation for all this. When the glow of the blood stained moon shines upon the land. There we go. We've already seen this like twice. We don't need to see it anymore. Only thing I can think of that I can do right now is pull out a glider. This is the only thing that I can think of that would be a nice flat device or flat surface that we can stand on while the balloon lifts us up. It's not great, but it works. I didn't even get close to those monsters. I just wasted all that time and resources. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I'm sick at this. You know what, let's try this one more time. We mean can't take that out here. You know what, forget it, dude, you're on your own. I'll come back some other time. I know how to help you, I just can't get it to work. Hello? That's a bush, I thought it was about me. Huh. I went on the ice fruit and it backfired on me. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was going to be one of you. Wait, what are we taking? Rusty broadsword? Nah. Holy crap. Look at a rack on that moose. Got it. How much meat? Raw gourmet meat. This prize cut of animal meat is usually from a large animal. Any connoisseur kind of would rank this tender, juicy cut of meat gourmet. Expect an exquisite meal when cooking with this. I hope it's going to be as good as you say. Uh, 
All right, so looking this way. Let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? Move it closer. I want to see where I'm really sending it. That's one. Let's try right here. Okay. Curved way too much. That one's dead. It just got lightly bumped. That's so disappointing. Hey, Gummit. Old wooden shield? I don't think I need that. <laughs> I don't think that was worth it. Ow! That hurt. I really need to start cooking. How much health does he have? Wildberry, a fruit that grows in cold, snowy regions known for its tangy, sweet flavor. It doesn't offer any special effects, but is a popular cooking ingredient. All right, I don't have one of these weapons ready yet. What I have one sticks. Why couldn't I swing? I was like stuck to the ground. Are you kidding? Get this stick out of here. A uh, Captain Construct two horn, a blade, a sharp blade like horn with a split tip that easily slices anything it touches. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase attack power. All right. I gotta find a good place to cook. Let's go ahead and hit these boxes with this box. That's not an enemy at all. I don't know what that is. All right, I saw these ice beers up here. I'm gonna get them. Thinking about it now, I could have taken one of those useless sticks that I had and attached one of those giant snowballs to it. Oh no, you're going to be feeding me, dude. Or maybe not. Or maybe so. How long am I going to chase this moose for? We are not moose hunting. So apparently we kind of are. Well, as long as it's still going in the direction where we're trying to go, right? I just got this bow. It's already almost done for. Wow. What a crappy bow. Hey, a fortress. Let's raid it. Because you know it's nothing good. But it might have something good. Oh, I should raid that fortress that's over the starting planes. 
Arr. Wait, wrong joint. Wrong joint. There we go. I like that just having it out could cause ice to melt. But you don't have to do anything else other than just stand here and wait. Come on, keep going. You got it, you got it, you got it. And what about you? Uh, I guess there's a way to go up into the base from underneath. Come on. All right, we're in. What's in the box? Ooh, I'll take that. Five arrows, nice. Amber, okay, I'll take it. Is there something I could do like a large amount of damage? We've taken down one of the monster f forces, but the rest of them don't even know that we did it. Hmm. Let's try... Okay, that boomerang did not do what it was supposed to. up again. I have to wonder here. Wait, wrong thing. There we go. Ow. Yeah, the boomerang trick doesn't work. Supposedly you're supposed to be able to throw it up and straight up into the air and then it just circles you as a defensive measure. That's not even working. What the heck? Wait, what? How do you get two quick hits in? What the heck was that? Nothing went according to plan. I wouldn't have wasted my time. I would have gotten the sneak strike in if I knew the boomerang wasn't going to work. Why didn't the boomerang work?
Breaking. I got hit by the rock falling down. That's stupid. Dang! That sword is not strong either! I need a way to whittle down the amount of troops. I don't know how. I don't have a method where you can like really sneak around and do a lot of damage before getting into a big fight. Especially when you got these three just sitting here like this. Most I can do that I know of is I can take out this guy. Freaking. Did he just drop kick me? Oh, I need to come up with a new weapon. This works. Come on, take out these strong ones. Is he just gonna stay there frozen? I mean, I'm I'm cool with it if he wants to. These are the ones that have been hitting like a truck. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for. Press. Why do arrows not do enough impact there? I did nothing. Come on, swing on him. I don't care if my weapon is badly damaged. Ooh, sweet. Now there's just one. He just goes right back to chilling. Like he's not the only one left in this whole place. Wait, the snowball already melt off? It did. That would've been a crappy weapon to have. All right, now we can look at all the loots that we picked up or that we have available to pick up. There's a lot. Black Bacoblin Horn, a vicious three prong horn attached to a weapon to greatly increase the attack power. N Knight's Shield 40, a shield favored by the knights who served the 
Hyrulean family, ro- uh, royal family. Its sturdy metal construction makes it quite durable, but its weight uh, requires decent skill to wield. Um, drop this. Knight's broadsword. Knights of Hyrule once carried the sword even in its decayed state. It shows its true resolve and desperation. You could yield powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. We can at least get rid of this stick. See, shield, shield, horn. Spiked Boko shield. Boko shield made of slightly stronger wood and reinforced with animal bones. How is that barrel still not blown up yet? Literally just sitting next to the fire. All right, you. There it goes. Toasted hearty truffle. Hearty truffle toasted until its outside is crispy. It tastes great, but hearty truffles are far more effective when cooked in a recipe. Baked palm fruit. This palm fruit was broiled with direct heat, resulting in steamed flesh inside the rind. Best served at the moment the juices emerge while roasting. I could have used this to help. I didn't realize that these were cages that didn't have a bottom to them. Got an opal. Another horn. Did I see something flashing over here? Maybe not. All right, is there anything left up here for us to explore? I guess we could bust open those boxes. Soldier's Claymore, a lightweight metal weapon forged for royal soldiers. It's decayed now, but still easy to use, so it consumes less stamina during charged attacks. Um... Use this to bust open these boxes. Roasted bass. The bass has been cooked whole over an open flame. Its flaky and savory smell smelling offers more hearts than the raw version. Oh, I'd hope so. Arrows need to stop rolling away. A blackened crab. A whole crab slow roasted in its shell. The soft flaky flesh pairs nicely with the scent of the charred shell for a meal that assaults all five of your senses in all the best ways. Assaults all five senses. Uh, that doesn't sound too appealing to me. Not assaulting. Wait, is there anything that we can see up this ladder? Should I get that spike ball and put it on something? I should probably put it on something. I kind of know what they want me to do here. They want me to swing wide and end up hitting those explosive barrels. Not gonna lie. In the midst of a battle, I'd probably do it. Wait, no. Let's see, what do I want to put this on? Ooh, up to 22. Nice. All right, what's the weakest thing that we got? This sturdy wooden stick? Okay. Let's continue on. Actually, let's go over to there. Wait. Oh, that's a stable. Stable with a temple behind it. This 
hardly does any damage. Let me get out something that does more. Like this. Ow! No, stay back! Come on, doesn't fire do more damage against this thing? Oh, it melts it right down. I really just feel like I was doing the wrong thing all along. I really need to get to shelter. Oh, I wanted to put this rock on something. Nope, that's not what I was trying to do. That's what I was trying to do. Got him. All right. Get rid of this. Pick up that. All right, I need something to eat. We did pick up a whole lot of food here, so let's go ahead and eat it. That was the one good thing about that fortress, is there was a lot of food. I really just want to keep killing the mooses that I find. They give so much good meat. But let's, let's now go to the stable. Horses. Bears? Takes a lot to kill the bear. Surprised it didn't try to attack me. Kind of surprised that the horses didn't get spooked by it, too. Horses, can you, like, stop? I want to go for the bear, but I also want to go for the horses. But the horses won't stop moving! Hopefully I can somewhat cut them off without them seeing me. How'd you even get spooked by me? You know, I'll go after the freaking bear then. Wasted all that time trying to sneak up on the horses and they just get freaked out for no reason. How much health do you have, bear? My bow broke! It took so long to try and kill you. Oh my gosh, can you not kill the bear?
The horse is more forward is the definitely the leader. Cause they all came running back to it. Oh my gosh, horses. Hold it. They run away after this, so I'm just gonna say forget it. You know what? Stay away from each other. Forget it, the horses. Just forget them. There's nothing I could do about them. Not a daggum thing. You know what? While we're here, let's see. Let's go ahead and hold this. Grab one of these. Use some of this and cook. <laughs> I just noticed what he was humming. He was doing the mm, 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 thing. <laughs> All right. Let's finally work with Penn here. I've seen him a few places, but they were during a half episode. Ah. The story is really something. Mind going through it again just to make sure I have all the details right. Oh. Sure, no problem. We've been taking care of a very rare animal for Princess Zelda, a golden horse. But the poor thing ran away from our stable. Hmm. Mm, Princess Zelda's horse vanishing like that is a pretty big story. And tell me again, why that horse oh. run off? That's the troubling part, isn't it? When it happened, I finished tending to the horses and was taking a bit of a rest in the stable. Then the gentle creature began making terrible sounds, neighing and bucking around so hard it shook the stable. Mm. So you went outside to see what was wrong, didn't you? Mm. Yes, exactly. And there she was, Princess Zelda. After all this time, she was right in front of our stable. Then the princess came closer and the golden horse thrashed harder. Then the animal broke free and bolted away like nothing I've ever seen before. I couldn't help staring at the crazed creature. And when it, I looked back at the princess, she was just gone. It happened so fast. Hmm. So you lost sight of the horse and then Princess Zelda vanished on the spot. That's all, all strange from start to finish. My little sources tipped me off about this. But I have to say, I thought it was going to turn out to be nothing much. Oh. Hey, partner, you're here. I should have known it was you there. Just look at you, tiptoeing up like this and getting your ear in. You've got the makings of a real reporter. Well, apparently I'm not good enough since horses kept running away from me. Oh, oh is this someone else from the newspaper? Kinda. Oh. That's right, new partner, plenty of gusto, a lot of promise. It'll be all right if he listens in. Now, please, tell us anything else you can remember. Anything at all. Mm. The part that really bothers me is the poor animal acting that way. Horse truly loved the princess. She rescued it and protected it. She doted on it. But the horse was terrified. And for the life of me, I can't understand why. <laughs> princess Zelda is known far and wide for her compassion. I can't imagine our princess being terrifying at all. Hold on. I think I did catch the briefest glimpse of the princess's face. I thought I couldn't have seen that right, but she had such a cold expression. She's been full of warmth when she's been here before. Maybe the princess was furious that I let the horse get away. Oh. I, I really should find that animal and bring it back here for her. Uh. But that poor horse galloped north and never looked back. I'd go in search of that steed, but with the huge monster that's flying around up north, it's far too dangerous for me. The best I can do is to keep the horse's home here in the stable nice and clean, just in case it returns. Uh, 
I just hope someone finds that sweet creature and brings it back here safely. Side adventure, Zelda's golden horse. Could that dragon be going after the horse? Seems like another big fight that we could do, but we're going into the shrine. Wait, how far are off are we from uh, the other geoglyph? I completely forgot that we were searching for that. I got distracted by the fortress and I completely lost sight of what I was supposed to be doing. Courage to fall. Or Chium Shrine. I need a ball. This is a door. Well, it looks like just going through there is going to be tricky. Wait, I don't want to be using this. Long, sturdy stick. I don't care. I could have read it. I didn't want to read it. And up we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing back in there. Thought I'd check. Right, it's safe to pop out. Yeah, it's safe. And, ooh. What you gonna fight with now? You ain't got your stick. It's an eye charge, soldier, construct horn. Some on the other side, another construct. Soldier. Okay, we need to bring out another weapon now. I don't want this wooden stick. Yay, five arrows. This is what I mean by the treasure chests aren't really that important. Wrong joint. All right, I need to pick another weapon. Fix stick. Basically the same thing I already have. All right, that'll open when I finally get the ball into the hole. I still need to find the ball. There's the ball. That's the way houses work, exactly. All right, so we need to go up. There might be more than one ball in one hole. Yep, this looks like another spot for a ball. Wait. Is there supposed to be a way that I can get up there? I'm a bit confused where I'm supposed to go. Huck. 
Okay, I'm really confused about where I'm supposed to go. Let's go back through here. Not taking chances. Can't just interact with this door. Actually help me all right. No. Just put it back there. Wait, I didn't mean to go back. That was the first time I ever pressed B. I've seen people like do that before, but then have the whole issue of they jump right into a bunch of enemies. So the only thing they could do is go back down. I don't know what to do. I'm so lost this episode. Something underneath here. This only brings you up, it doesn't bring you under. Definitely missing something here. But what am I missing? Come on. No. How do I get the ball? That's the only thing I don't know is I don't know how to get the ball. I know I need it, but that's all I know. What does this say? So confused. I'll try one thing. Wait, it lets you when it comes back down? So I have this feeling that this might have something to do with something. No, it doesn't. I'm so freaking confused. Where do I go? That didn't work. Really, there's something down there. I don't know how to get down there. I don't know how to get into this cage. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! You couldn't tell me that sooner? I 
probably would help me out a lot more. No, I keep hitting the wrong button. Come on, hurry up. That's why I needed. I was so freaking lost, but that's all it was. I didn't know what the lasers would do. I thought they'd possibly hurt me. Now they just open up the floor. All right, come here, little ball. You can come closer. It's okay. Link won't hurt you. All right, and up. See, this is all I needed. I'll go ahead and take this now. Let it roll. I think one of those just go. Let's try this one more time. Alright. I could just pick this up by hand, but you know what? I like this better. Finally! This temple took way too long. And late a blessing. All right, I needed to get it together. Since this dot is over here, I feel like I've run I've kind of run past where I was supposed to go. Also, what's this? Why is it red? I kind of want to go this way and see about this dragon thing, but I probably am in no shape to be going up against it. Not enough defense, not enough health, not strong enough weapons. So let's actually yeah, go, go towards where we were going to be going. Let's do that. Are these rocks? These are rocks. And why is there seven wheels here? Is there another hidden wheel? Let's look, five and two, like, what are you gonna do with seven? Well, regardless. I need to reach my friend. Ah, uh, okay. Where is the smoke coming from? Why do I always get sidetracked so freaking easily? Is it that over there? Should be right. Hi, Gorok. What you need? Um, my friend and I got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired though. I can't move. <sighs> okay. Okay. How about we finish making this, put them on there, and find some way to propel ourselves. Maybe some way to steer ourselves. That'd be really nice. That'd be what I really want most of all, is the ability for us to steer ourselves. Okay. 
All right, first off. Let's go ahead and... I don't think it's going to get much better than that. All right, wheel. Are you already trying to roll away? I ain't even got you done yet. What are those? Why are they lit up like that? Oh, they're just snowballs. Why are they lit up like that? All right, no matter what I do, I'm going to put him on this first. Then I'll do whatever I'm going to do after the fact. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just want to make sure this isn't going to roll away from us. We have a habit of doing that. So I don't have a such thing as a brake or a steering wheel. Wait, why did you... No, stop that. This. I was never turning it to the left. Yeah, it's hatch. All right, you said your buddy was down the road, right? This is not efficient. When do I get a steering wheel? I need a way to steer this joint. So far, that is something I have not been given yet. Okay, we definitely want to go with a fan and not a rocket. All right, let's... Were you really scared of me pulling out a bow and arrow? Like, really? Really, really? Stop. Oh. Uh, let's try not to lose him. It'll be very hard to get the Korok seat if I lose him. Where the heck is his friend? Oh, over there. You need to reach my- I know, shut up about it. Let's keep going. Let's say, why are we stopped? Why are we not moving forward? Okay, now we can stop. What? I'm doing a terrible job of shooting here. Break too. Thank you for the free horse. Hope it's a really good horse. Okay. Seems doable. Are you? Come here. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Stick to the side. Give my fan too. I want to keep my fan. Alright. Excuse me, horse. Are you trying to go without me? Stop that. We're gonna go drop this Korok off. So let's go. Giddy up. I would say, is this Korok all right being so close to a wolf? But when I think about it, why would a wolf eat a Korok? That's my friend. All right, here you go. 
Thanks for being my friend. Here's something for you. Thank you. Bye. I should stop reading those because they all say the same thing. Let's go inside that cave. Why am I so bad at aiming? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, horse. Ugh. Seriously. How'd that get loose? You two be good now, you hear? I want to see what's up with this cave. I know, I know, I know. I'm supposed to be going to the glyph, but I get sidetracked easily. Well, you might want to stay here. Don't go anywhere with my fan. I'm not really seeing anything in here, which makes me worry a bit. Why? Well, because it makes me feel like that gunk can monster is going to come out. I don't want to see that again for a while. Not until I know I'm strong enough to handle it. Which right now, I'm definitely not strong enough to handle it. There wasn't much in here, was there? Not disappointing. Oh, there's still that chest in the back of the wagon that I've gotten. Yeah, I should get to that. Okay, yeah. Not really anything to this cave, just a few resources. Kinda disappointing. I kinda feel like I wasted my time. Thank you. Alright, hi horsey, hold on a second. Let me go ahead and... This will do. Just rock salt. That's it. Oh, let's go this in here. Five arrows. Great, because I wasted a bunch trying to shoot the bear. The goblins that were using the horse and carriage. Yeah, basically the fan isn't on here because I expect to use it with this. It's on here because I used it and I don't want to lose it. It's good horsey. Keep pulling. You're doing great. Try going a little bit faster, though. There you go. There you go. You got it. You got it. Yeah, we're free now. Let's see about registering you. Maybe you're a really good horse. Actually, probably not. You only got two hyas in you. I don't know what's called. Charges? No. I prefer hyas. Somehow I made it past him without triggering him at all. On a carriage that I could not control. Alright, almost there. Hey, look, my carriage reset. Alright, and hello, hello. Whoa, don't run over the dog. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry, sorry. I don't think he has a very good temperament. We're not stuck, are we? Is the dog in love with me or the horse? I'm stuck, stuck. <laughs> Alright, uh... Horsey, can we get out this way? Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Oh, great. It's stuck. The dog is falling more in love, but I can't do anything with it. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, I'd like to register this horse. Yeah. Oh. Snowfall oh. stable. Oh, first time here, I get a point. New reward available. Uh. Oh, it looks like you have some points saved up, Link. If you like to get your reward, step inside to the side counter where I keep the ledger. Then call me over. Oh. Yes, please. Uh. Bond is already to the max. Great pole, gentle temperament. Yeah. Oh. Um. What do I call you? Oh. Huh? I know it's a reward available. Let's move around right to the registration process. First, please enter our name for the worst. Um. E. Oh no. I don't know. I'm just playing off of a Pono again and again and again. Are you sure you want to name this horse a Pono? Not really, but yeah, we'll go with it. Oh. Name registered. Do you want to take it with you or board it? Board it. I don't know what's going to happen oh. to horse. Horse, stay with us. Thank you for using the stable. Oh. You know, I heard Lookout Landing is recruiting investigators after some kind of big history changing discovery. I know it's got nothing to do with me, but that's the scuttlebutt. What do you mean by that's the scuttlebutt? What? what? Uh, let's receive a reward. Oh. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Uh. For five points, you get this horse god fabric. Top fabric bearing a design of the horse god Melania. It looks like it'd be used to make a paraglider. Oh. I hear the dye shop in Hatsino Village has a new service using fabric. If you ever find yourself in uh, Nakluda, you ought to stop by. I'm sure they can help out, help put this fabric to use. If you just save up one more oh. point, you'll be able to use the M Melania bed, which is said to bring prophecies from the horse god. Okay. That's weird. Hi, puppy. What can I do to make you love me? Other than just ride a horse. He misses the music. Okay, okay, let's let's get back on track to what we were gonna do. And then when we finally know what we're doing. Oh hey, the enemy spawned back. When we finish this all up, we can start moving towards what our next objective is gonna be. Which I think our next one is going to be heading towards another sage. I decided I'm going to do half episodes more frequently than every five. I was going to do it every five episodes, but I think it's going to be better if I do it every three. Kind of like I, how I did Pokemon Scarlet. Just because there's a lot of different regions where we got to get a lot of different uh, light blessings from a lot of different temples. So I'm going to do it every three. But first we're going to get to episode nine. Then we'll do another one. And then from there will be every three, so that way it literally sticks with threes. Wait, I know this place! Am I ready to go in here? I don't know if I'm ready to go in here. No, we can't do anything with that. I think what I have to do here is... Time Bomb! What do you mean you can't take that out here? What do you mean you can't take that out here? One more time. There we go. Please blow up the rocks. Oh, you're disappointing. I don't have anything else that can get me inside, do I? This would be the closest, but not really. Wait. What if I try a regular bomb? Wait.
Bruh! Do I have to go lower? This is definitely isn't working. Unless there was another broken way in. Ah, oh, here we go. Hey, an all in time no see. Lady Impa. Oh, Link, I'm so pleased that you've come here as well. Let's be honest, Lady Impa deduced that there is something related to the geoglyphs here. It took some effort for us to get up here. We managed it. But then Lady Impa grew impatient. The moment I took my eyes off of her, she went deep into the temple all by herself. Once I finish mooring the balloon, I plan to hurry after her. All right, we're not going to have to deal with a whole bunch of, uh, I don't even remember what they're called. Those uh, ancient things that hate us and would always shoot lasers at us. But you could fight against pretty easily. All right, so I'm sure we're going to have to build our way across. <gasps> Dragon Bone Bokobo. 24 damage. The Bokobo reinforced by fossils, but goblins handpicked materials it's made from. So a boast of respectable firepower. Ooh. Give me these. Don't roll away from me, Arrow. Always trying to roll away from me. Okay, so even if I combine those two boards with this board, it still would not reach all the way over to there. What about if I grab those boards, though? I need something better to fight with. Howdy, fellas! How would you like a... <laughs> this is weak, so I'll just take you with it right now. Ah, so simple, so easy. They're gonna use those strong bows on me. Okay, fine, fine. I'll use something with more oomph to it. Nothing in the second one? What? Why is it gotta be so disappointing? The rock hammer is weaker than this boulder hammer? You know what? Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. So let's see. Hold on. Is there anything in here that's movable? Because if it's movable, it's combinable. If it's combin combinable, I could put it on a stick. Hmm. I don't know if I really need this right now. I'll come back for those if I do find that I need them further in. Just keep in mind that they're there. Cool Cephalina. Oh, what do we have down here after I collect the ice fruit? Why is there ice fruit in here? It's a box. Ten okay. I'm never going to complain about getting arrows, but I still would like more. I would like better. Are we going to wake these bokoblins? I'm ready for them. Yep. They're awoken. All right, pull out the boomerang again. I'm still disappointed by this thing that it didn't work the way that I was told it was supposed to work. All right, and let's 
get the thick stick. I don't think you like getting hit with the thick stick. Honestly, I wouldn't either. But I don't care about what he wants. You know what? That's how a lot of uh, accusational problems have started. So maybe I shouldn't say that. Oh, this breaks them in a jiffy! I like this better now. Nothing on there? I think I could climb all the way up there. Without having to build something. Or the Dragon Bone Boko Shield 25. This Boko Shield is reinforced with fossilized bone. Its defensive capabilities are respectable, but the predictability but its predictability slide ship predictably slipshod craftsmanship spells low durability. Do you think I care about that that much? Low durability? Ha! It's still better than this piece of crap. Wait, no, I wanted to drop it. Okay. Oh, yeah, and, uh... Frickin'. Alright. Time to climb. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that in the style of a Miley Cyrus song, but I slightly did. Still can't believe that Miley Cyrus is in the MCU. When I learned that she was in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I was like, wait, what? And Michelle Yeoh was in there twice. <gasps> There's another Tampa. Wait. Did I pass where I was supposed to go? Where's Impa? You know what? Let's get this first, and then... We'll see about whether or not I'm going in the right direction. Let's get these chill shrooms. Seems like the ultimate stoner shroom. There's more mushrooms down there. Why am I such a loot goblin? You... No. No. Go sit down somewhere. I'll take his arm. There's going to be another one down here, isn't there? No, there's no reason for it. Huh, that's not. All right. Let's get up on here. Climb on up. Isn't it nice to have another temple in here? Wait, there's Impa. I am on the right track. Impa! Yeah, I'll talk to you after I do the shrine. Skip. And in we go. Yeah, maybe I should have managed my time a little more because uh, it seems like I'm definitely taking up time being in the ruins. I got to build some. Oh. Wait, isn't this an IQ test thing? These types of blocks. Well, I guess you can't stick them for more reinforcement. They're not counting this, are they? It's not in there. Oh, it is in there. I just couldn't see because I was pressed up against it like this and then he zoomed the camera all the way in. Okay. 
I should have put a chest on top of there that you could only reach by using one of those things to get up there. Yeah, they didn't do that, though. Alright, what more other blocks do we have to build with? Oh. No, you don't. Yeah. Oh no, not the Bacoblin arm. Whatever will I do? What bow am I using right now? No, wrong joint. Wait. Drop that one. Wait, I'm not trying to... Did I look like I was actually trying to shoot? I don't think so. It could have. I, I don't think so. Um, this should break it, right? Oh, this is metal. What do I use these for? Oh, come on. These are wooden. A blue rupee? That was my first blue rupee. We Are these breakable? Maybe meltable? You know what? I don't think they're important. Let's keep moving on. If they do become important, we'll deal with it then. All right, so... For this, you want... Wait, is everything here? Okay, everything is... Oh, you got three options to work with. Gotcha. Hmm. Or you do use all three. This one goes... Here. So you do use all three. Wait! I'll do. No! Maybe I won't do. No, it did. It did. Ooh, a large deny charge. There you go. Okay, now. Break apart. There you go. Mm-hmm. You go in here like this. I'm not even gonna bother attaching it. <laughs> Boom! Wait, that was it? Come on, no, 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 give me more IQ tests. Things, please. Man. I want to challenge how smart I could be. Or dumb I could be. Actually, those are pretty easy. That's probably not the best way to measure my IQ. I've seen blocks like that used for IQ tests, but I think they're more for, like, young children, like, five and below. <laughs> I think an adult should be able to solve that pretty well. <laughs> But they are used for IQ tests. I do believe so. At least in a specialist's office. Hippa! Ha! Hmm. Oh, Link. Thank you again for your help with the balloon. Yeah. I believe there is something related to the Juga somewhere within the, this temple. I'm searching. But so far, it has been in vain. The chambers here are enormous. It, it will be... So it will be difficult. 
it will be a difficult task at best. Where could it be? So she's looking for a geoglyph, right? Because if not, I have no clue what she's looking for. So I'm pretty sure that's what she's looking for. Let's see, where would the geoglyph be? Oh no. And we can't lift it either. No. Why? Why has this happened to oh, hello? What do we have behind door number four? Something tells me this fills up with water. Yeah, it definitely does. What happens here? Is this supposed to be like where the sages stand or something? Sun to lions. Okay, nothing happens. Let's keep going. Oh no. No oh, way. Wait, what? This is foreshadowing of all the glyphs. Ah. Ah, this place. Ooh. Lady Impa, let's head down. We must investigate up close. How are you going to head down? Wait, you found stairs? There, upon the walls. Are those not geoglyphs? Hmm, what could this mean? Uh, I believe the one we saw first was the geoglyph on the left edge of the wall. Yeah, that was first, and the one next to it is the other one I've been to so far. As for the next painting, according to the floor map, it is near the Rito village. Oh! It seems the locations of the other geoglyphs from the wall are marked on the floor map as well. Yeah. I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. Who could have guessed this old ruin still had held such secrets? It is said that the geoglyphs appeared all over Hyrule during the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. Hmm. How are they connected to these images here? There is no time to dawdle. Let us hurry and investigate the remaining geoglyphs. Mm. Oh, L Lady Impa, perhaps you should re rest a bit before such a trying journey. Oh. Link, if you happen to see a geoglyph during your travels, I urge you to investigate this matter as well. If more strange visions are waiting at the other geoglyphs, just like the one you already experienced, well, perhaps they can provide clues to what could lead us to Princess Zelda. That could lead us to Princess Zelda. So yeah, here's the castle. None of these are movable. The heck is this? Examine. A tear with a tear. Okay. So I guess this is the order that you're supposed to go in. You got... Uh... Raru, Raru, I think that was his name. The castle, the Pura Pad. I know what that is. It looks like some type of cannon. Ganondorf. That's the queen. I already forget her name. Why I want to say is like Sofa or Sophia. Sophie, some. This looks like a crescent dagger. It's, I feel like this is another version of Ganon. That's one of the sage stones. 
This looks like a spring with a stone tablet and the master sword. Okay. So the next one we want to go after is the pure pad, right? Which would be... Ha! Over here. To the east of the castle. So that's going to be the direction that we're going to head next because that's also going to be where we'll find things like, oh, say, the Zora Domain. I think up here is the mountain where the, all the Gorons are. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the place we're supposed to go to were over here at the Rito Village, the Zora Domain, somewhere down here where it was always storming in the first game, and then over here in the desert with uh, the town full of women, I forget what they're called. Gerudo? Or do they have a different name in this game? Well, regardless, we know what direction we're going in next. Hold on, is there another? Stairs go either way. Wait, I don't understand this layout. Okay, now I understand this layout. Oh, does this keep going this way? No. Could there be a chest in the other opening? I should have gone left instead of right, or right instead of left. It just came out right because it went left. No. Okay, well. I feel like I should be taking a picture of this. Wrong joint. That will probably be important for the future. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Also this. I don't know how important these are, but I'm just taking pictures of what I can. Wait, can we read these? No, we can't. All right, I think we should leave. I think we should teleport and start heading in the direction where we think that we need to go next. Which, where I think we need to go next. Oh, here, here's one thing. I'll say this. The whole area with Lookout Landing, we got all the temples here. When it comes to the next half episode, I'm going to be exploring around Hyrule Ridge for all of its shrines. And if that doesn't take too long, we'll move up to the... To Banthia Frontier and in the Hebra Mountains and start looking for more there as well. Hold on. These have checks, but this one doesn't. Why does this one not have a check? Did I not explore it well enough? Unfamiliar world, Tear of the Dragons. Oh, that's the castle. Yeah, that was the castle. Okay, so I think we should go here to the Yamio Shrine and start traveling east from there. And I'll get a good mm, 20 minutes of travel in from this point for the rest of this episode. And then I'll pick up the rest of the travel next episode. Oh, all the markers are gone. That's to be something I do during the next half episode, too, is all the markers I got for the... I don't even remember what they're called. The glowy things? Yeah, I'll uh, have to work on some of that next time. Is that a bold of fortress? <laughs> Wait, no. I wanted to drop those. Wait, 
Wait, are they turning around? No, that makes sense. Why would they want to cross the bridge on that? That seems like a bad idea. Do I want to challenge them? I will have some trouble with the rock guy, but everybody on top? Yeah, not so much. You know what? Let's do it. I'm a glutton for punishment. We know this. I've got myself killed multiple times in this game already. It'd be best if they didn't see me. Where's a good place up? That's what I have to do for now. Ow! Yeah, they stay on top? Hold up. We need them. Wait, I went too far. So on. Ow! What hit me? I need to move. You hitting the rock with your bow and arrow like that isn't going to do anything. Tulin, I need you up here. I need to get on top. Tulin. Ow. I don't think you should be able to hurt me like that. Personally. Ow! Dirty! Uh-uh. Here you go. I don't like how quickly I'm burning through this food that I got at that fortress. Go on. Okay, I'm already in the process of jumping. It's annoying. So on. He flung me off as soon as I got... I hate you. You have noxious. So on. Gotta wait for you to charge up again. Next. And there we go. That was frustrating. Ooh. Ooh, what are we going to put this heart on? That Oh, yeah, that is a heart. Um... It's not really worth. It's kind of weird. But I'll take it. No, stop it. So in. Thank you for your assistance. We're done here. Wrong joint. Oh, ew. Wait, my bow is badly damaged. Wait. 
Wasn't there a stable over here? Or am I thinking of another bridge? Might be thinking of another bridge. All right, well, I'll continue on this way. See what I stumble across. Ah, oh, that's where it was. Okay. Yeah, no, we're going to keep going this way. And what we find, we find... Why does a rock formation like that distract me so badly that I want to go check it out? Okay, I have to figure out what to do with these nanny lines. Because I'm freaking clueless. It's not worth me stressing over. Let's just continue on the road. It looks like a donut. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Looking this way. I feel like that tower is for this area. If that's the case. I can't get closer. I can solve that. No, this. I need to re up more devices. Just me or does this wire look like it's moving very fast? Why do we never go the direction that I want us to go? Like, literally, I want to go that way, but it keeps turning to the left. It's not even in the water now. I need ways to steer these things. All of my things. Great. Can we get down the river quicker, please? I want to stop here just because I noticed this. And I like to get another seed. Thank gum it. Why would it not come out of the ground right there? That was weird. It worked and I'm floating away. Can you wait till I got my feet on land? Okay. Let's try this again. Let me up. There we go. And now we go. Yeah, I need a way to steer. The fact that I still don't have that and I'm just... That is annoying to me.
Wait, this is steering itself for the moment. Let it steer itself. I'm impatient. I guess we're back on track. Kinda. Wait, what's this? I wanted to explore this last time because I saw it, but... Yeah. I figured I wouldn't because it was in a region that I wasn't exploring yet. It's like a cave fortress? What was that light and sound? I feel like there's going to be a baddie in here. They're all ridiculous. I beat every single one of them easily. After missing some arrows, yes. Or riblin? Oh. A blue horn riblin horn. A hammer-shaped horn with spiky bumps. Attached to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power. Of course, I don't want their bouncy stick. Roasted bass spear? Roasted bass adds nothing to it. It's just a waste of a roasted bass. I don't want these weapons. I want better for myself. Yeah. Still not at that better for myself that I was talking about. Okay. Use this. Topaz. This precious yellow ore contains the power of electricity. It's been known to fetch a high price since ancient times. Nice to know. Very nice to know. Now I'll go back for the rock salt. It's not that important. All right, that's the only place to climb up to, right? No. It is not. One thing's for sure, I'm certainly not getting distance over here. Not getting distance at all. I mean, like, in this whole journey adventure. Oh, because it's wet in here, I can't cling to the walls. Hey, gummit. Wait, what if I... Really? How am I supposed to get up there, then? Oh. I feel dumb. Please don't bother me about how dumb I feel. Five bomb flowers, I'll take it. All right, now let's try that again, shall we? Yeah. 
And what's in the box? Soldier's spear spear. Oh, so they just doubled up on it. Although not decayed, the lightweight metal spear was used. Yeah. What a waste of a weapon. Put something nice at the end of it. Not another spear. Like, like, bruh. Well, I guess it's better than the roasted bass or the bouncy stick. All right, with that, let's leave this cave. That awesome my boats. Who's that on the bridge? Should I go talk to them? Should I not go talk to them? Because they could be a bad person. Ah. Lattice. Caves are really dangerous. Is finding bubble gems even worth it? <gasps> what? You got your hands on bubble, a bubble gem? You had the courage to not only go in a cave, but to face down a strange creature. You're a brave one. That's for sure. Oh. If you manage to get your hands on a bubble gem... You should try to find those two oddballs in the Woodland Stable in Elden in to the northeast. Those fellows were in a real frenzy to find those gems. I bet you you'll find them in the cave near the stable. I heard them talking about some rare treasure they had. I think it was like a mystic robe or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it might not be a bad idea to go see them. Yeah, but where do I go for that? Also looking at it, I'm still on the right track to get this tower, but I don't have the time that I set aside for myself to get that tower. Come on, do we got eggs up in here? No, we don't. Yeah, you guys can just escape. Is he talking to the birds? Ah. Hey, partner. Get a good night's sleep? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We don't have the time to squawk right oh. now. I got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed a stable's farm tools. Mm. It's a bit unusual. Why would our princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them and didn't. Now, this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess after all. Still, these are strange times. So I got to thinking only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools for... Wait, Pen, hold on. You got ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts. When, what, where, who? Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Isra lent her the tools. He's right around here. Watches over the stable's raft. I heard, I heard. Let's get to the work, partner. Um, stable's raft? As far as I can walk in here without tearing the tent down. Hey, Beetle. This isn't him. Need something? Better make it quick. I'm supposed to be on my way to Ring Ruins in Kariko Village. Kakariko Village. Ring Ruins. You probably know that fallen Zanai ruins have been found all over the world since the upheaval. Well, the ones at uh, Kakariko Village have been dubbed the Ring Ruins, owning their distinctive circular shape. There's also some stone slabs there with the words like Sage and Demon King carved in, Z in Zanaya scripture. Uh. The leader of our team, the best in the world at deciphering Zanaya scripture, is heading up the investigation in person. It's all very, very exciting. I just wish the place was a le little easier to get to. Kakariko Village? Oh. If you want to go to Kakariko Village, head toward that ring-shaped thing in the distance. 
I see a car oak. That's one of the ring ruins. Lots of folks have been talking about that spot in our research team as well as the, the public. Fair warning. You run into some tourists. They've been flocking to the ruins lately. I should get going too. My fellow researchers will start wondering where I am. <sighs> Kakariko Village is hidden away in the mountain range. Even with the landmark to go by, I worry I'll get lost. Maybe I'll run through the directions a few more times in my head. Might be a good idea. All right, because these splash fruits. This well. Um, I'm going to talk to her later. Let's go ahead and... No. Bust it. <gasps> Whoa! What a fine! Huh. Come here, frog. Tireless frog. A rare frog prefers dark and moist places. When cooked with monster parts, the elixir produces, it produces will temporarily increase your maximum stamina. Sounds nice. Why does it take just as many swings to break a box or a barrel that's made of wood as it does a whole freaking rock ore that contains other ore? Like, really? Okay, maybe I should go ahead and talk to this person. What are you saying no about? Water quality fair, moss growth extensive, bright caps present. All right, that's everything all jotted down. Uh? Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Of course. Ma? I thought so. My name is Farah. I have a deep love of wells, too. <laughs> wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique system of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. Wow. My dream is to travel all around every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouting all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I learned that there are 58 wells. Oh. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. But if you have any interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you tell me of any well locations you know oh. of? I'll reward you, of course. Hmm, how does 10 rupees per location sound? You've got a deal. Ah. Really? That's fascinating. All right, then. Tell me everything. These are like the three or four wells I've already found. Five. Thanks. So five of them this time. I'll give you 10 ru rupees per location. That's 50 rupees total. All yours. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go visit all these wells. Let's see how many left across Hyrule. Oh, there's still a total of 53 to find. Oh. You can find wells all over the place in towns and stables, of course. But even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist within ruins. <laughs> Just imagine, they were a crucial part of life all that time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Oh, I'm going to look out landing next. There's a well there I want to see. So if you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. Where are the wells? I just feel like I'm getting more things I could throw into a half episode. Because searching for wells would not be main episode stuff. Yeah, it's definitely half episode stuff. I really should be ending things, but I want to talk to that dude that, that told me that I want to talk to that dude that Penn told me to talk to. Whoever they may be. Uh, well, good morning, Mr. Uh Mr. Customer Sir. Word of the wise, even though it's daytime, I'd stay away from the forest near here if I were you. We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest. I mean fortress. I mean Forestress. I mean a fortress. Anyway, it is B-A-D bad news. And it brought some other monsters with it. And look! <sighs> Worked so hard to build a well, and now I can't even use it. I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well, but... <sighs> One of the mon monsters... Monstern... Monster decides to raid us. I can't sleep. I can barely talk. <sighs> 
thought maybe I'd try a sneak attack from behind. You know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go well. If someone could just get a big one to leave. Uh-huh. We'll keep wishing, but for now, you really just steer clear of the forest. Yeah, I got it. I can handle this. Armoranth. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken. It could be cooked, but it could be cooked. This durable yet flexible fire fibers raise your defense when cooked in a dish. I said there was a big one. There's the big one. This one? Oh, I can't handle that. I can see how it could be intimidating for him, but... Yeah, I want to finish this quicker. Let's go with you. Don't turn around. Yeah! Kid! I know the one's about to go out to me with the bow and arrow, but I want to kill these guys first. Give me all your goodies. Kid. Ah. Why are you shooting at me? Yeah, I needed a new boo. Thank you for the boo. Woo! I wait, was there anything up here? No. What's the arrows? I'm getting so enthralled, it's hard to leave. I need a strong as an eye shield. Because now I don't have as an eye shield. And I would if they were stronger. But they're not, so I don't. Alright, can I go in this well? Oh, this just connects to the same place, don't it? Yeah, it does. I didn't need to explore this. It was okay. Alright. Up the ladder we go. Let's talk to the kid and tell him that his will is clear. But it also connects to this one, so what was the point? Hey, kid. M Mr. Customer. It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Customer? You got rid of the nasty monster. I knew it. I thought I saw you among the trees putting in work to get rid of the nasty monster. Amazing. Thank you. I was so scared. I'm just a kid, so I don't have any money or anything. But I have to reward you for getting rid of that monster, so I'll give you two pony points. Thank you. Now I can welcome our customers with peace of mind. Thank you so much. Really, though, why were you making that well? It's connected to this well. This well is closer anyway. All right, I still want to talk to the dude that Penn told us to talk to, but I want to figure out what is up with these freaking arrows first. I'm not saying this like I'm mad, but it's just like I should be ending this, but I'm still not yet. There's so much to explore and do. What am I supposed to do? Right, the arrows are pointing here. Yeah, yeah hi, you found me. Did you really need arrows? Did you really need these freaking arrows? Hi, Choo Choo's. Choo Choo Ka Choo! Oh no, I destroyed. Dang it. I didn't pick up the jelly from the one because I destroyed it. Were these necessary? I guess you didn't place them. The developers did. All right. Let's see about talking to that dude that I'm supposed to talk to, wherever the heck they may be. Go. 
go to needs. Oh yeah, is this the person I'm supposed to talk to? It was is something. I mean, really, why? Isra, that's it. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saw the princess? Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Penn from the newspaper, right? I didn't want to get this out because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. But she borrowed our stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. Oh. That was a long time ago. But I do remember she said she needed them for something at Florence Sandbar. It's around the river bend. And then a good distance after that. Uh. I take the raft there myself, but after that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down river. So you might say I'm in a bind. Ah. Uh. I know we could clear up this mess. If someone could just take me down river to Florence Sandbar on the raft. We'll do that next time. So that'll be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Until that next time, when we take this dude down the raft, doses. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. Roaches get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, Million Man March and Sparta. Mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I'd probably.